Ok, starting the video with a disclaimer. If you're a casual player that plays 2 to 3 hours a day, ignore everything I say, you can turn off the video now, it's not gonna matter to you, just do whatever you feel is fun. However, if you like to level at high levels and you care about your efficiency and you want to save time and have overall more enjoyable uh, time playing the game, uh, you might want to hear out some tips I have. Uh, I had a discussion with someone doing a low life wonder and he was surprised that I had uh, faster clear times than him and uh, he asked me if I could s take a look at his build and see see what it might be wrong. And he said he has like double the damage after we co compared the tooltips and everything, no matter how much tooltips are wrong, but he, he had much more auras and stuff like that, much more damage nodes. And he was surprised that he with all the damage he can't clear as fast. He's struggling to do sub 2 minute gorges, sub, two, sub 3 minute red maps and stuff like that. So talking to him, checking out his passive tree and stuff, uh, talking about uh, the way he maps, I discovered the roots of the problem and uh, I thought that it's going to be nice to make a video and just uh, talk more about efficiency to all the people out there that are leveling past 90 and uh, want to have a faster time and overall much more enjoyable time and uh, in the end level faster game workers and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to start with the way I prepare to do maps and uh, how I try to minimize the downtime between maps. Uh, in general I do like, I prepare like 5 maps with good layout and like 5 maps with shitty layout. So I don't burn myself out doing too much, uh, too many uh, too many bad layout maps, maps in a row. Uh, I don't really do uh, blue maps at all, so I'm going to just scour all the blue maps. Just I'll call the maps because I only chi chiseled to tier 12 and higher. And then I'm going to read all any mods that I can do. So this is okay, this is okay, this is okay, this is okay, this is okay. Elemental damage reflect, tab chains I can handle. Okay, 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 so that's that's about it. So you're ready to start off a map. So you pick a map. Let's try not to pick a temperature's map. Here's an elemental equilibrium. You run it and that's about it. Uh, <coughs> that's that's how you start with mapping. So next thing I'm going to talk about in-game, in-mapping tips that you can improve uh, your clear speed, mostly to do with uh, usage of flask, animation times, uh, keep your track of your buffs and stuff like that. Uh, if you save every second or, uh, or every action you do, uh, at the end of the map you're going to save like half a minute or even more. So in general, if you see a pack that you know it's going to refresh all your flasks, just pop all your flasks. Don't bother with mentally tracking all the buffs in the, in the buff bar because it can be exhausting and uh, sometimes you don't even, you can't even tell uh, when the stuff is down, when it's up because you have like 10 buffs here and nearly impossible to keep the track of all stuff. Uh, you want to refresh your wall haste while your haste is up. Uh, same with your golem. You notice your golem is dying, you have wall haste up, just pop your golem. Uh, wall haste gives you cast speed, and that's going to improve your uh, casting time both for your wall haste, both for your golems uh, and your frost wall. It can end up saving like overall through the map 10 or so seconds at least. Uh, okay, <coughs> so that's about as far as that goes. Uh, when you're mapping, you want to recognize which mobs take uh, one hit to kill, which mob take a couple of hits to kill. In general, all the white packs, if you have sufficient damage, you just shoot once and the white pack is dead. But however, some annoying mobs, especially double damage reduction red maps, can take a couple of hits to kill. And as you play the build more and more, you're going to recognize when you need to apply more damage, when you need to apply more hits, and uh, when you need to like shoot a couple of times instead of once. But in general, for every white pack, just shoot once, move on, shoot once, pop your flask, move on, shoot once, pop your flask, move on. Uh, you'll notice that as I'm talking and doing the video, I'm not doing things exactly perfectly, but you shouldn't keep in note what I'm doing more than what I'm talking about, because it's hard to concentrate and do everything while you're explaining stuff. Uh, also, what's going to help you is efficient loot filter. Like, I... Uh, I made a kind of a, uh, how do you say it, adaptation of never seeing loot filter, uh, so it doesn't show a lot of stuff that it re regularly shows because I don't think all of those stuffs. Uh, and 
In the third, I, I made it so it shows better stuff and that I value more and that I pick up more. Efficient loot filter can save you a lot of time because you don't have to sift through all the trash stuff you wouldn't even pick up and you don't want it to clutter your screen too much. So after you do a map, when you pop outside of a map, uh, how you want to proceed is just instantly put another map into it and uh, render all your stuff. Uh, Chance all the sources boot you might pick up, just don't even bother rendering destroy them, rearrange your inventory so, so it fits uh, in and just enter the second map. So that's uh, as far as mapping goes. Second thing, damage nodes. I notice too many people don't value these flask nodes or even th these duration charges gains nodes and a lot of people seem to hate move speed nodes and that's quite wrong. As you can see, my weapons is my, my weapon is nothing special. I do have some like pretty good damage gear with crowd of ice rings and stuff like that, but I take that damage where it's sufficient, so I don't need to spend on too many damage nodes. I don't need this crit multi here. I don't need, need this one damage here, and especially these quite inefficient nodes here. I instead take these move speed, attack speed nodes, these flask charges, gain the duration nodes, and most importantly the alchemist will. I noticed too many people, and the person I talked about at the start of the video, don't take this alchemist will. This alchemist will buffs your flask of move speed so much. Sadly it doesn't work on onslaught from uh, silver flask, but it's going to give you like 25 to 30 extra move speed on your flask, and it's going to be probably much bigger factor in your clear speed once you have sufficient damage than taking a couple of crit multi or whatever nodes. So take the move speed nodes, take the flask nodes. You're going to buff your clear speed way more than any damage. A lot of people overstack damage. My damage is nothing impressive. It's like what? 30 with not even 40k damage tooltip. Like I see people with over 200,000 damage tooltip kinetic blast builds and when I see that I laugh because I check their, their videos and they're doing like 4 minute maps because they're slow as hell. Don't be slow, be fast, do stuff fast, be more efficient, it's going to be way more fun. Some people don't like the clear speed meta, some people don't like the efficiency but I don't mind it, I actually enjoy the game the way it is. So that's about it for that. Uh, other tips that I can give you is uh, find a good loot filter, uh, improve your loot filter, keep track of your buffs, animation times, uh, take usage of the cast speed, uh, keep in mind when your golem is dying because he gives you a lot of accuracy, accuracy is also important, just keep track of your flask managing and you're going to ha have much a better time. And if you don't care about all that, just do whatever you think is fun, because that's what's most important, that you have fun in the game. Thanks for listening.